How's it going everyone? Today is episode five of the Project Saab. As you can see, or as you saw at the last, the end of the last video, we finally got it running with the second try on the second ECU. I guess second ECU, not second try. But it's been running for about 10 minutes now. This is about where it died out with the last ECU. But everything seems to be 100% fine. The car's already up to temperature because it's 115 degrees here. But today we're going to be scanning it with the Tech 2 and we're gonna take it for a drive to see how it drives after six months. The car was completely out of, not completely out of gas, but said refill fuel. So we ran up to Sam's Club, got some uh, gas in a jerry can, put about a gallon in there. We'll go fill it up completely, of course, at some point here soon, but we're ready to, uh, to drive this. And if you guys didn't see the tail lights, I'll link that video up in the top corner, but I highly recommend checking this video out because it was a lot of work, but it was also a lot of fun, and it turned out amazingly. But with that being said, I think it's time to go take it for a drive. You excited? I don't know. I don't really know how I feel right now. Very anxious? Extremely anxious. I don't know why it's running a little hot. It's not really running hot, but it's running like right at the middle. A little bit warmer than where mine would run, but it's not overheating. So I think, what are we doing? Are we taking it to get gas? Should we? Probably. So when we put the second ECU in, I went to go reset the clock to see if it would, and it wouldn't, and then that's when the car stalled was shortly afterwards. It's kind of interesting. I just reset the clock now, and it seems to be working, because is it 4.35 actually? Sounds about right. Yeah, it sounds about right. It's uh, so, currently 113 degrees out in lovely Phoenix, and I want to kill myself. That's why we have the windows down, because the AC isn't the best. The AC is practically nothing. Yeah, so that's another thing to fix on this car. But right now, first task is getting gas. One of the rotors does sound like it's making a weird noise. It's not going to pick up on camera, but it almost sounds like the pads are rubbing with the rotors. So it could just be because it sat for six months and the brakes are kind of all rusted up, I guess. Give it the beans. Some of the beans. It's definitely probably already heat soaked, given the temperature, but it's definitely, it's not misfiring and it's, making, you know, good amount of boost. That wasn't full throttle, but... No, I was almost scared, sorry. Yeah, so <laughs> now, as we drive by a riced out Golf, our goal is to buy some brakes, and we're gonna do brakes all around on the car because these are really, really bad. But everything seems to be good, and then when we get back, we'll scan it with the Tech 2 and see what's what codes come up. Later that same evening. We're gonna do diagnostics. 2005. From the 90s or from the 4000? Okay, it works. <laughs> <laughs> enter. There's also an enter button right here. Then go to all. And then first one. And you got. So it had 15 codes before. Vehicle check and read, right? Yes. And then with the old ECU that was bad, it had 30 codes. So this will be interesting to see. 30. It still thinks all of the lights are bad. Here's the other thing. We need to reset these because they haven't been reset, so they're not gonna go away. So we should reset it. Well, we should have reset it first. That was my fault. So we cleared the codes. We read the codes and the same 30 codes came up, or at least it looked like off the bat we didn't scroll through them all because I mean, it's 30 codes. But we're gonna just, I cleared them all, or she cleared them all, I guess, technically. We're gonna take it for a quick drive just around the neighborhood and then we'll see how many come back up. But I mean, the car doesn't have a check engine light and it drives 100% fine. So there's gonna be some codes that come back up, but uh, the question is which ones? Like one evident one right here. Yeah. Hello. Yeah, gas gauge, just not working. Common problem. Thankfully, neither, neither of mine have had that issue. Lucky. And I'm careful to brag about it because I know if I do, shit's gonna go bad really quick and bad karma will get me. Should we drive to 69th Avenue? Yes. We're gonna drive. It'll bless the car. Yes, we're gonna drive to 69th Avenue. We're on 75th. So, the holy, the holy street. Well, the new head unit works. I'm yes, lying to myself works. now by saying uh, heat, heat, seat heaters because I 
do not have seat heaters. See, the thing is, with all, we put like eight new things in this car. Some of them required the power or the car running the test. So we know that this works. This is one of the things we replaced. We know the window switch works. We're gonna get an ICM2 because this one is just very ugly. Yeah, so ICM2 because ICM1 is lame. And ICM2s are extremely expensive on eBay. And by extremely expensive, I mean like 100, 150 bucks. If anybody has a spare one that they want to sell me for not $120, yeah. hit me up. <laughs> Please. DM me on Instagram and we'll get it, we'll get it going. These brakes are trash. Yes, that's part of the reason why we bought new brakes. These are trash, so we're gonna order some from ESAB. And then, hold up, important moment here. Stop, with your shitty brakes, stop. I'm trying. 69th Avenue, there we go, all right. So uh, I think that concludes our short test drive. Now time to head back and see how many codes are still on this thing. Reading, reading, any minute now. Wow, would you look at that? Four codes. Parking light. What are parking so, lights? I was still zoomed in. So parking light, I'm going to assume, if anyone knows that, I'm assuming that's her, maybe that's her rear fog lights? I've never used them in my life, so I don't know. Yeah, that's Why not... is my cruise control switch? So your cruise control switch is bad, just like mine was, I guess. And but your fuel works. level sender. But it works. Okay. So the engine's fine. So, yes, the only code that you have is for your fuel level sender. So, in other words, this is pretty much 100% fine. I got my car back! Um, after six months. So that being said, I guess the next video is going to be doing the brakes on this car. We're going to go order <laughs> some from Esob now. She's excited. With that being said, if you like this video, go ahead and leave a like or comment below. Cringe. <laughs>